Welcome to the Content Connection Series, hosted by the Learning Resource Center South at Rowan University. My name is Mary Hartman, and although I am the Fiscal Operations Coordinator for LRC South, I am also a certified teacher with over 10 years of science classroom experience who continues to pursue her passion in all fields of science. Today, we are going to explore the next generation science standards concepts of motion and stability, forces and interactions by building an air-powered balloon rocket. We will examine such forces as thrust, gravity, friction, to estimate their effects on our rocket and apply Newton's third law of motion by making observations and measurements. This experiment is best suited for students in grades three through eight, but with some adult assistance and modification can be used for students in grades K to two as well. For today's activity, you will need the following items. One balloon, string or yarn, at least 15 feet or more, this all depends on the size of your balloon. Double-sided and masking tape. If you're going to use the picture of the rocket, you'll need the double-sided tape. If not, masking tape will be just fine. An air pump for blowing up your balloon. This is optional, but very helpful for comparing your data. A tape measure for recording your results. The activity plan and data sheet that can be downloaded from the link that is right below this video and a few helpers as some parts of this activity get a little tricky. I'd like to introduce my helpers for today. We have Henry, Gavin, Jackson, Alex. Now we're going to build our rocket. At this point, it will be really helpful to have the activity plan in front of you for reference. For the first step, you can either print out a picture of a rocket or draw in color one yourself. Make sure the cut picture is smaller than your straw. There is a link on the activity plan for one you can print and color. Next, take your string and thread it through the straw. Stick two pieces of masking tape, each about three to four inches long, on your straw and let the ends hang over. Don't stick them to anything yet. On top of that, put about a one inch piece of double-sided tape and stick your rocket picture to that. It will be good for you to have a helper as the next few steps get tricky to fully assemble your rocket. Inflate your balloon with the air pump. Make sure you count the number of pumps you want. Once the balloon is inflated to where you want it, have your helper pinch the balloon tightly closed, but do not tie it. Using your rocket parts on the straw, stick the masking tape to the inflated balloon very carefully, making sure you get a good stick from the tape by smoothing it onto the balloon. Make sure your helper doesn't let go of the balloon just yet. While still holding the balloon closed, either tie the string to a chair or have your helper take the string a good distance away from the rocket. Make sure the string is still running through the straw out of the front end of the rocket. Now hold on to the end of the string closest to your rocket and pull it tight between the two of you. Mark the string so you know where your rocket started. Let your rocket fly by letting go of the balloon. Got the string nice and tight? Whenever you're ready. Three, two, one, blast off. Measure the distance your rocket travels and record that information in your data sheet. Test number two. Fishing. Eighteen pumps. One seven eight. Let's go back to my helpers and see if they know what's going on. All right, guys. So there's one word on the table that we didn't talk about. What is it? Equilibrium. Equilibrium. All right. So right now, Henry has the balloon at equilibrium, okay? There are no forces working from inside or outside of that balloon. Now in a second, Henry's gonna let go of just the one end of the balloon. And Gavin, I want you to tell me what you feel. Go ahead. Uh... 
Gavin, what do you feel? Hair coming out straight out the middle of my palm? What Gavin felt was the force of the air coming from the balloon. Even though he couldn't see the force directly, he felt it. According to Newton's third law of motion, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. When you let go of the balloon, the air is released and pushes against the outside air, and the outside air pushes back. Those two pockets of air are colliding opposing forces. Since the force of the air coming out of the balloon is stronger than the outside air, the rocket is propelled forward by that opposing force. Let's go back to our helpers and see what else they have to say. Bird on the table. Thrust. What do you say, Alex? Thrust. This opposing force that propels our balloon rocket is called thrust. In the same manner, with similar forces, space shuttles can be launched from the Earth. Here you see the rocket thrusters starting to exert their force. When the force of the thrusters is greater than the force of gravity, the downward force pulling objects towards the Earth, the rocket lifts off. For each of these, you'll want to inflate your balloon with the same number of pumps as your first test so that you can compare your results more accurately on your data sheet. Try to do some things that will change the distance that your rocket travels. The activity plan has some suggestions. We tried using a different type of string like fuzzy yarn or fishing line. My helpers have some ideas about this one. guys that was a big difference between our two tests does anybody have an idea why that might be I do. oh yeah what do you think so you're saying the fishing line is smoother than the red string yes because if you feel the string it has a lot of bumps in it but the fishing line is like smooth that's awesome now does anybody know what word on the table that might relate to? Friction. Friction is the resistance that one surface or object encounters when moving over another. The rocket will fly further on a string that exerts less friction. Thank you for watching this edition of Content Connections, presented by LRC South at Rowan University. Don't forget to check out the links below for the activity plan and data sheet for this activity. On the last page of the activity plan, you will see some resources available at LRC South to deepen your understanding of this activity and maybe pique your interest in other areas as well. There's also a link to the LRC Express to make borrowing easier. Please check back often for more content connections on other topics. We hope you enjoyed this activity.